blessings and blessings, y'all. Preston Smiles here from the beautiful Topanga, California, and today's transmission is the three ways to cultivate success in any industry, no matter what. And you know what? I'm gonna AKA that. Not just industry, but in anything in life. These are the three principles, the three tools that I use to cultivate success. Uh. So principle slash tip number one is elevation requires separation. If you would like to be successful in relationship, in any business, in anything, you're going to need to separate from the small thinking, from some of the environment, AKA toxic relationships, not people. You're gonna to need to separate from the ways in which you have previously been doing them in order to elevate. You see, leaders not only know the way, not only go the way, but they show the way. And the way to show it is by separating from the things that no longer serve you. I think that so many of us want our cake and, and we want to eat it too or, or whatever that statement is. We want the old habits and the smoking cigarettes and the drinking and anything else, staying up late and not getting up early and all these other habits and we want, right? You want to be able to swipe through Tinder and comment on boob pictures and Instagram models and things of that nature and you want. Right? And, and the problem with this is that something's got to give. And so principle number one is elevation requires separation. You got to give up to go up. You got to give up to grow up. Oof, I hope this is landing for somebody. Principle number two, and this one, this one's so huge and it, 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 they go neck and neck, but it's progress over perfection. I think that so many people have been conditioned to believe that they need to be perfect in order to. I gotta be perfect, I gotta get it right, it's gotta be pretty, I gotta have all the colors, I gotta have every, I gotta know everything, I gotta get 48 degrees, I gotta get a certificate here, and this and that, and I wanna remind you that those who really move mountains, those who have success on this planet, no matter if it's in relationships with their kids, with themselves, with their significant partner, in any business, those people move before they're ready. They literally allow themselves to, to be in the process making progress over the idea of perfection. Oh my God, if this is landing for somebody, please put it in the comments already. Principle number three, and this one is gigantic. It is to have high intentions and low attachment. You see, in the Buddhist principles, they say to be detached, right? Because a lot of us in the Western world, we spend our time trying to attach to everything we possibly can. We try to hold on to it. We get the love, we want to hold the love. We get the money or the job or the X, Y, and Z. We want to hold it, we want to attach to it. And we unconsciously identify with it. There's this unconscious identity that gets attached and the game is to have a high intention to say, hey, I'm, I'm in because I'm in. I'm in because I'm playing. I'm in because I'm committed. I'm in because I want to see what comes forth inside of me. I want to see what parts of me need to be revealed and loved on. But I'm not going to be attached to the outcome. I'm going to be attached to the play, to the joy, to the creativity, to the flow, to being used, Ooh, to being used by spirit in any way it seems fit or deems fit. Somebody else who, who may be religious would say, let thy will be done. Uh, to be used by spirit is the game we all get to be up to. So if this resonated with you in any way, I ask that you leave a comment below click the thumbs up button and share it with somebody if it hit home. Blessings and blessings. My name is Preston Smiles and I'm a personal freedom and embodiment coach and I live by the creed. <sighs> Love will find a way. Everything else will find an excuse. Hurrah, let's go.